Good morning. Welcome to the 2022 CIAA Postgame Press Conference. My name is Shaylin Moore, your moderator for today. Joining us is head coach Serena King Cole of Fayetteville State University, along with Rashika Simmons and Morgan Graham. Before we open it up for questions, we'll have an open opening statement from head coach. Uh, first quarter, I thought we played okay. Uh, we went through a scoring drought. Um, which we've been doing all year. Um, so second quarter hurt us big time. Um, second quarter, we just never really recovered. Um, we didn't shoot the ball well. Shot 25% from the field and 55% from the uh, free throw line. Um, and that's pretty much the story of the game. We will now have opening statements from each player. I really have to say the same thing that Coach just said. We didn't really play our game. We didn't really boss out, we didn't rebound. So that's about it. Um, just to back off what they said, um, we just didn't play as a team and we didn't do what we needed to do. We didn't come in that strong, so show them the court. Morgan, as a freshman, what was this whole season like as a learning experience, and what do you think you'll bring back? Um, it was extremely hard to be hitting because I set out the whole first semester, and then coming back, um, I need injuries. So just being able to play one team a few games that I did was was huge, and so. Uh, after season, I'll have surgery, and then I'll be back with my team, so. Rashika, you played well today. What words would you have for Morgan to kind of just make sure that, you know, she doesn't take this loss to heart or the other freshmen, but you kind of make sure they are ready for next year? I just want to tell Morgan that I'm still going to be here with you for two more years. It's to continue to just get better at what you do. After you have your surgery, don't let that be a setback. Just come back even stronger than what you did today. Coach, obviously not the results you wanted today, but coming out of the second half, the team had a really good sense of urgency, and you saw a couple shots dropped, you were able to go on the run. Can you talk about some of the adjustments you made? It wasn't any real, well, the real adjustment was to put more pressure on the guards, um, and we got a few steals, but we really never finished in transition, and that's usually our game. Um, we usually be able to run out on teams and we never just got it together. We, we walked a few times and, um, and then they stepped it up. They hit some shots. Um, they had players, uh, number 11 stepped up for them and they had some, uh, people hit some shots, unexpected shots. And so as the intensity got higher, um, even when we made a run, they made another run. So that, that made it tougher and we were already down. So we had to really shoot the ball well to continue to come back. Coach. Well, we had a young team this year, and so as a coach, you can't always art articulate an atmosphere or a pressure, um, and you can't mimic a pressure of a CIAA tournament in practice to help them understand. Some teams just have to go through it and learn lessons the hard way. Um, and with COVID, and you know, everybody had the same challenges, but at the same time, some t young teams are stubborn. Um, and so this was a stubborn team, and so we have to learn this hard lesson. Hopefully we learn from it, we'll come back stronger next year, understanding that we have to put in more time um, outside of our regular practices. So, you know, it's not anything that anybody wants to go through, but at the same time, you have to adjust to the personalities that are on your team, um, and they have to learn the lessons the way they learn the lessons. I think the future is still bright. I still think we got to add some pieces in terms of having better rebounding. That's something that we struggled with all year. Um, I think we, you know, need another guard. But at the same time, it's about being a team. And I think we struggled with understanding what that looks like on the court consistently all year. Um, we've had some great individual performances from players. Uh, but as far as being a cohesive team, really understanding that no matter what that stat line looked like, that that is an important contribution other than points. Um, you know, every role is important, but they have to buy into that. Um, whether that's a person just diving on the floor or that's the person giving the assist, that is just as, is just as important as somebody that's scoring the points. Graham and Simmons were your two top scorers today. Can you talk about their play? Uh, yeah, Morgan, I mean, I knew that that was there all year. 
um, but like she's been challenged with uh, a, lot, a lot of injuries this year. Um, the entire team has, but you don't look at those. She didn't use that as an excuse today. She gave us her all, and I think she proved to herself that uh, of what I've been saying to her all year is that she has the potential to be one of the best post players in, in the conference. Um, she, you know, she's been scoring for us all year and stepped up in big moments, and she knows her challenge of getting frustrated and also really being able to rely on her teammates sometimes. That's, that can be a struggle. Uh, but they both did a, a, a great job. Uh, but we really have to work on, on being a cohesive team and understanding our roles. Are there any further questions on the floor? This will conclude our post-game press conference. Thank you, Broncos. Thank you.